Well, it looks like we're the only ones down here. Well, sometimes you just got to get out of the house. <laughs> this is March 22nd, Central Montana. And uh, yeah, it's still winter here, not spring yet. And there's somebody out on the end of the pier out there fishing. This is Giant Springs. And all this water here next to the Missouri River, all of this water closest to us is coming out of a big spring right there. Giant Spring. This is the shortest river, I don't know, in the world. Well, it's the shortest river in the U.S. anyway, because it only goes from the spring there until it hits the Missouri right there. But it's classified as a river. Isn't that something? Let's get away from the noise of the spring because there's some things that Linda and I need to tell you about. Well, first of all, Linda had her first eye surgery this past week. And uh, how did that turn out, dear? Well, I still got it. <laughs> it did fine and uh, the next one is not scheduled until April, early April. So that's kind of why we're hanging around here. We haven't gotten south because we can't go. That's right, we're unable to leave right now. Now, her next surgery is April 8th. This is March 22nd, so it's just a couple weeks off. But anyways, her cataract surgery went well. And now the other thing is, I've got a little thing going on, but um, I've been excused until August, so uh, I'm okay for now. And we're just hanging out until this gets done. And then we're heading, we're gonna hit the road and maybe head someplace warmer. <laughs> yeah, where we don't have to wear gloves. Yeah, and, and heated coats. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing my electric coat. <laughs> what a cheater. <laughs> yeah, so we've been doing our best to try and enjoy being here during winter. <laughs> That's why we were camped in the snow last week. You saw that video. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's been it's been fine. You know, we've we've kind of enjoyed it. Winter camping is not our thing, but you know, it's been okay. But that's why our videos have been a little different lately, is because we're just kind of sticking around. Yeah, that's why we're not on a road trip. Exactly. We do have a couple things to share with you, but we're going to go find a spot to make some coffee. We'll tell you about it. Well, one of the best things you can do on a cold day is go someplace warm and fix your favorite <laughs> meal. Because <laughs> it's actually freezing out here. It is. Hey, let me show you what my favorite breakfast is. Let's go make it now. So what's my favorite breakfast? It's Spam, eggs, and rice. Now, now wait a minute, I know that sounds easy, but it's gotta be done just right. Well, the first thing we need to do is get the rice going, but not just any rice. Because I want to make Japanese sticky rice. That's my favorite. And for that, you need to have a, a Calrose rice, you know, or Nissan rice, or a medium grain rice. So we're going to use this one. And you can find this kind of rice at any grocery store. Maybe in the Asian section, but sometimes it's just with the rice. Now, as for measurements, it's one cup of rice, or this isn't a cup, but it's, you know, one measurement of rice to one and a half measurements of water. You can make that like one and two thirds measurements of water, but I kind of like one and a half, a little drier rice. Well, 
Well, when the light turns green, it's done. Well, the rice is done. It's steaming. Time to get to the spam. I like a couple of thick slices, and I like to just lightly brown them. Hey, you know, if you've never been to the Spam Museum in Austin, Minnesota, you should make room for that trip. <laughs> you won't be disappointed. You find out that Spam isn't made, it's not like hot dog. Spam is made from the best of the pork. It's made from pork shoulder. It was made for the soldiers in World War II, and they sent them the best. All right, there we go. Okay, just lightly browned on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and set this off to the side while I do the eggs. For some reason, they say it's better to put the oil in a hot pan. It does seem to keep the eggs from sticking. This says power 800, but I thought that meant watts, but it I don't think it does. This is the induction cooktop. It works really well, but I'm still learning how to use the power settings on it. Kind of got to go by what I see in the pan right now. All right. That looks about right. Sounds about right. What I like to do is just put a little oil in the pan now. And put a lid on it. I guess it's like sunny side under because I like a nice runny yolk, but I like it cooked on the top. That's what the steam is doing right now. There you go. The yolks are runny on the inside, but the egg is cooked over the top. That's my favorite way to do eggs. All right, there you go. Spam eggs and rice, my favorite breakfast. I'll put soy sauce on the rice, maybe some Tabasco on the eggs, but there it is. Oh yeah, it's good. Well, there you go. That's my favorite breakfast. Not that I don't like pancakes and waffles and strawberries and bananas and <laughs> lots of maple syrup and whipped cream. Yeah, that, that, that's a good one too. Okay, well, that's my favorite breakfast. Linda's been making me that. Spam and eggs and rice for, gee, 50 years now. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. No, we're not that old. Yeah. <laughs> no. Hey, but um, what do you got? Well... One of my favorites, easy one to make, especially when you're out camping, and you, um, is Kahlua pig. And I'll show you that recipe. We had it in a previous video, but then we had to take that video down. But people that, that God, my, I have a hard time talking because it's so cold. <laughs> but uh, we had to take that video down, but people have asked for that uh, recipe, so... Here you go. That's funny. You're, she's slurring her words because her lips are frozen. <laughs> For real. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, here's that video. So today I'm going to prepare a uh, pork roast and turn it into a Hawaiian dish that we call Kalua pig. And traditionally it's done in an underground emu or an underground oven. It's frozen ground outside so I couldn't have Rick out there digging in the frozen ground to make me one. So years ago, I discovered a different way of doing it. And the word Kalua means pit because it was cooked in an underground pit. But nowadays, what I'm going to do is big roast. Well, it's, about, it's not that big. It's about three pounds. Cut it in chunks, and then this is what is replacing the underground oven. Ta-da! Don't forget to put some water in there, about a cup and a half of water, with a trivet. And just layer your meat in there. Remember not to go above the maximum fill line and put the lid on. 
As some of you have asked what model Instant Pot I have, I have the smallest one. It's a three quart and it's called the Mini Duo. And I use it all the time when we're out camping because it only takes, uses 700 watts. We'll plug it in here. And normally what I learned about cooking meat a long time ago in the pressure cooker is about 20 minutes a pound. And that was about three pounds. So I'll put pressure cook for about 60, 60 minutes, one hour. And that's it. And there she goes. So now this is my new modern day emu for making Kalua pig or Kalua pork if you want to sell more civilized. <laughs> then I will shred it and add some uh, salt and some liquid smoke. The liquid smoke is what fools you into thinking that I did it in the underground oven. I almost forgot to put the rice on. Plug it in. Push cook. There you go. So, okay, I got it out of the emo, all the chunks, and put it in here in this bowl, and I mashed it up with a potato masher. Um, having your pork in chunks makes it so much easier to shred than the old way of shredding it with your hands. And then, once I did that, I seasoned it with some um, Hawaiian salt, which I happen to have from Molokai. Um, but you can use any kind of salt. You can use table salt, uh, Himalayan salt, or kosher salt. And then I added the uh, liquid smoke. And you do those to your taste. Because I know a lot of us are on low salt diets, so. And that's all it is. It's just salt and liquid smoke. And then we get to eat. Okay, and there you go. We have some Kahlua pork, Kahlua pig, some rice and tomatoes. The tomatoes I chopped up and seasoned it with salt and pepper and a little bit of fish sauce or um, patisse. Well, nothing fancy today, just instant. Well, all right. Okay, the good one is mine. <laughs> you want some milk in that? Sure. Okay. Here you go. There we go. Oh yeah, it'll do. That's a double shot of Taster's Choice, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know yeah. when it's freezing cold, any instant coffee tastes good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that warming your lips up? Yeah, it was pretty weird. I couldn't, I couldn't um, say receive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is all right. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed those two recipes. Those are two of our favorites. Simple, but really good. Really good. We'll see you around.